Okay, we did SP3, SP2, and now we are doing SP hybrids. Whoa, what in the world is going on there? Okay, SP hybrid atomic orbitals. So, same, we're going to start off the same way, energy level. 2s, 2p, throw some electrons in there, and we're going to hybridize, and this time because we're making sp2, oh, I'm sorry, sp hybrids, that is indeed supposed to be a p, okay, we're doing sp hybrids, so it's just an s and a p, we're going to take two orbitals, we call uh, the the regular atomic orbitals, we call them native orbitals sometimes. So if you hear me say that, that's why. So we have the two Ps left over, and then somewhere below that are the SPs. Okay, and they still have all the electrons. So we start with four orbitals, we end with four orbitals, and uh, we took two orbitals and hybridized them, and we ended up with two hybridized orbitals. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did in the last video. We're going to look at the bonding of a particular molecule. Okay, so um, that is acetylene if you're a welder or you ever use a gas torch, that's acetylene. Uh, triple bond, that's what makes it so, so it gives it so much energy when you burn it. Um, this picture is going to be a little bit different, okay? Uh, it's going to be kind of drawn at a 45 degree angle. I hope you'll figure out why in a minute. Okay. So first I want to add the sp orbitals. Okay. So they are along the axis. Because notice this molecule is linear. So they are along the axis. And then there's another sp orbital coming down here. Okay. So those are SPs. So this is an SP. This is an SP. This is an SP. And this is an SP. Remember, each carbon has two SP orbitals. But what else does each carbon have? If we look at the hybrids, uh, the hybrid atomic uh, orbital diagram, we have two P orbitals left over. So let's draw those in. Okay, so there's half of a p orbital, another half, half of a p, another half. Okay, so those would be like the 2py. So let's draw, write those in there. 2py and 2py, okay? And then perpendicular to that, and it doesn't matter if it's the 2py or the 2px or the 2pz. Just in my picture, the way it's oriented, that's what I'm going to say. Okay. So that would be like the 2px. All right. And now we can bring in our hydrogens again. And we only have two this time. All right, and we'll fill in their orbitals as well. And if we remember what those orbitals are, hopefully, those are 1s orbitals. Okay, now let's do some electrons. Let's use the glitter pen, why not? They're electrons, okay. There's one set of electrons for one bond, there's another, and there's another, okay? But notice, if we go up to our, our Lewis structure, how many, uh, how many bonds do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, and five bonds. We've only drawn three, so there have to, has to be two more somewhere in there. So here's one, 
Remember the green is just one bond. And now it's going to get messy because I'm going to have to kind of overlap. Boop. Okay. There's another bond. Okay, and we'll throw some electrons on each of those. There's a pair of electrons and there is a pair of electrons. So let's label sigmas and pi's. Okay. Sigma bond. Sigma bond. Let's change the thickness of that pen just so it shows up a little bit better. Sigma bond, sigma bond, sigma bond. And it doesn't matter. We can label the pi bond down here. We can label it another one here. So the green is one pi bond, the pink is another pi bond. So if we get, again go through and count up all of our bonds. We have one, two, three, four, five bonds, okay? And that matches up with our Lewis structure. We have two pi bonds and we have one, two, three sigma bonds, all right? So I know it gets uh, uh, kind of cluttered and difficult to see, um, but yeah, that's just kind of the way it goes. So um, maybe maybe this will help here. Let me do this real quick. So if we have, if we look at the molecule end on, um, you know, if, if there's a hydrogen kind of sticking out of the screen, screen and then the carbon going into the screen, um, we have that 2px here, 2px, and then the 2py, 2py. So they each form a pi bond, okay? So we have the pi bond. This is gonna form a pi bond and this is gonna form a pi bond. Assuming, of course, that we're looking at the molecule end on, kind of like you're, you're looking from the hydrogen to the carbon. There's another carbon behind this one and another hydrogen behind that one. I hope that makes sense. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to be like that. That was supposed to be over here, okay? So, um, what was I trying to say? The green is a pi bond and the pink is a pi bond. Okay. Uh, hopefully there are no questions about that. But if we have an SP hybrid, let's just talk about that for a second. SP hybrid. Okay. We're going to have two things. And we're going to have uh, the basic shape, electron geometry, whatever you want to call it, is going to be linear. And then, of course, that means a bond angle of 180 degrees. All right. So let's, next, I'll sum up two more hybrids, and I'll give you some uh, an example problem.